Hello, this is TJ and welcome back to my video. Today, I'm going to show you another tip on chamfering. And in my last video, I I was talking about how we can do chamfering on steep surfaces um, using a chamfering tool. But in this video, we are not going to use the chamfering tool because it will not work. We are going to use a flat end mill to do the chamfer. Okay, so you can see on the screen, I have a part like this. And this need to be chamfering, okay. And you can see I have some green edge edges here. I have green edges and also red edges. You can see the edges I mark in red. There's the the steep edges, and we are we are unable to chamfering it. We are unable to chamfer it with. Um, a chamfering tool on a three axis machine. Yeah, I mean on a three axis machine, we cannot doing the chamfer with the chamfering tool on this direction because the edges here is so steep, and we cannot engage with a, a normal chamfering tool. So we need to use another way. And so here you can see I use a flat end mill for doing that. You can see here for the green edges I can use. I can do the chamfering easily with the chamfering tool. Let me uh, turn on the simulation. Okay, so you can see it easily. Here's here's our part after machining, for example, and for the horizontal or shallow edges, I can use the chamfering tool easily for ch chamfer the part like this, and also here. But it seems very difficult when we uh, have some steep edges like this, like these four edges, and we change to the flat end mill here. You can see this is uh, my flat end mill, a 12 millimeter flat end mill, and it's gonna go like this. Go straight, follow the edge like this. It stop here and go straight to here and cut the chamfer you can see this is how it works and this is our tip today I'm gonna show you how we can create that chamfering tool pad using the flat end mill okay I remember I did uh, a similar video a few years ago you can see you can uh, uh, you can you can find it on uh, YouTube here here's the, the video I do uh, I did it four years ago uh, on the same topic but when I watched the video again I, I didn't remember I didn't remember what I did because there's a lot of calculation and when I, I see it again I, I cannot remember what I did very very uh, complex and a lot of work so we just forgot it because I make it a long time ago and yeah just the past but a few days ago I have the same case some steep edge need to be uh, chamfer so I need to find a, a better way a quick and much easier way to do that so I got this you can see I use 3d contour to cut the chamfer okay like this so here's my uh, chamfering tool pad using a 3d contour but which contour should be selected I'm gonna turn on them for you to see ah. let me turn on the number two level so you can see I have one two three and four I use this contour for my tool pad you can see that is follow this chain this chain you can see this is the center of the tool it will follow the chain we create already right it like this okay let's follow the chain and make the chamfering cut all right so the question is how we can create this curve how we can find them out quickly okay so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you how to we can how we can create this curve easily and quickly okay I'm gonna copy this part so I can work from the beginning and you can see it easily okay I'm gonna copy this 
I copied it so you can see how I create this curve for the for my toolpad for my 3D toolpad. All right, so this is the new part. I click color, and the first step I need to do is creating this creating this chamfer on the solid. I go to the solid here and go to one at distance, one distance chamfer. Okay, and I select the edges. I want to do the chamfer on the steep edges. Okay. And I input the chamfering chamfering value. For example, in this case, I want a 0 0.5 millimeter chamfer. So I input 0 0.5, and you can see this is our chamfer on the solid. Okay, and I accept it. Now the solid has some chamfering. Okay. And the next step we can do is we turn on the 3D. Um, 3d option and then we do some offset we go to wireframe and here we can find the offset function yeah just click on the offset function and we select this this one this at this small one and this small one okay so I gonna show you how we, we use this function first uh, we need to decide which tool we use to do the chamfering cut in this case, I'm gonna use a uh, 12 millimeter. You can see a 12 millimeter flat end mill. Okay, the tool should be uh, as big as possible. So uh, this uh, chamfer looks strange. If the tool is too small, you can see it's this surface is not strange. Yeah, the bigger the, the tool is, so the flat, more flat the surface will be. Okay, more flat the the, the chamfering surface will be. So. In this case, I have a 0 0.5 chamfer edges, and I'm gonna use a 12 millimeter tool. So, it's I think it's big enough. Okay. The next step, we do the offset function. Okay, so the tool is 12 millimeter. I'm gonna offset a value equal to the tool radius. Okay, I'm gonna show you why I do why I do it. Okay, we go to offset. I input 6 millimeter because the tool is 12 so I offset the value of 6 millimeter, 6 millimeter okay click on this small edges go here you can see this is the offset line we do the same for this one okay you can see we have one and two I make it both so you can see it easily okay this is the original chamfering edge and this is the offset okay when why I use the 6mm six, six because let me show you I go to the circle and when I draw a 12mm it can be uh, considered as the tool and this is the tool center here and here I just draw the circle so you can easy to see you can see this is how the tool will cut into the part on the top and on the bottom you can see and the next step very easy you just draw a line to connect this midpoint of this line the midpoint of this line and to the midpoint of this line okay so very easy we got a chain for the tool okay that's how how I show you I just show you how I create this curve for my 3d tool pad and when you make your tool go through this line you can cut the this chamfer okay and because this is a, um, a symmetri symmetrical part I can use the transform mirror to to copy this one to here here and here but before doing this you need to make some adjustment if you want the tool to, to contact to this surface you can soften it a little bit you can see here modify length. Maybe you want to soften it a little bit on this side. I use 0 0.1, so I, I soften this one 0 0.1, and you may want to extend this this side. So we um, change it to uh, lengthen and maybe one millimeter for the top. Okay. So we extend on this side and we soften on this side. The tool will start from here, above from the part, 
and oh sorry make some mistake here let me uh, undo it I do it again we uh, lengthen we lengthen one millimeter on this side okay and we soften 0.1 on this side you can see this is the, the line after we soften it's not contact to this so you can modify the length of the contour as you want okay and then we go to the 3d contour we create a 3d contour go to tool pad oh before doing this i need to transform it this line to here here and here this is a symmetrical part so we just need to mirror it okay we go to transform mirror we can select x exit select this point so we got copy that and we do an, an uh, we do the same way but now we mirror it through the y axis here we select the point you want to mirror mirror okay okay done very easy you can see very quickly I just show you how I create this curve for the chamfering and the last thing we we, we can do is we go to tool pad and select contour here and we just select the chain ting ting and ting okay and here in the cut parameter you can see in the contour type we select 3d and the compens compensation type we select off so the tool center will follow the, the chain we selected okay very simple so we don't need any lead in lead out for this just turn it up and then linking parameter the depth should be zero so the tool center will follow the chain we selected okay and we can use some feed plane value and done you can see oh sorry i select the wrong tool it should be a 12 millimeter flat and mu okay you can see that's why i extend the tool uh, sorry i extend the line about one millimeter so that the tool can start from um, a move from the park it not contact with the park before it cut the chamber okay and it's go straight to here you can see it not touched the bottom surface so it will not leave the mark the tool mark okay and let's take a look from here you can see this is how the tool contact to the chambering surface very easy and it's really nice okay and let's see how how it's cut apart you can see this is how it's cut into the park we have a very nice chamfer okay so this it is it, 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 very easy if you can use it it can be very useful especially on park like this we have some steep edges on steep surfaces so very nice okay we start with the chamfering tool and this one we use the flat end mill very nice right and very very quick it's not take a lot of time you can see very easy just do an offset and then we create a line modify the lane create a 3d contour tool pad and we got the chamfer very nice chamfer you can see that yeah we have softened the chain a little bit so the flat end mill will not contact with this bottom surface you can do what you want okay so we have very nice park here with chamfer with chamfering on all edges very nice okay so that's the tip for today thank you for watching goodbye for now see you